Today we're talking about shorts. There's a lot of them. At the beginning of each summer, I grab as many shorts as I can get my pasty legs into, test the crap out of them over the hot summer months, and narrow down the selection to some of my favorites. To me, a proper pair of shorts can totally change your run, from comfort, storage, and materials used to how long they'll last and how they make you feel. So now as we approach the final days of summer, I think it's time to put my thoughts and my findings out there, share with you some of my favorite shorts from this season. That's right, it's time for another Summer Short Showdown. Ginger Runner. What is up everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. This has become an annual tradition, today's video. Uh, and it's one that I look forward to every year because I get a chance to try out a bunch of different gear, specifically shorts, over the course of the summer months. Basically what happens is at the beginning of the year, I look for pairs of shorts that fit my very specific uh, needs and criteria. Uh, they have to be very, very comfortable. They have to have ample amount of storage, specifically enough storage to store uh, a phone while you're running, because I like to carry my phone for photos or for GPS, that sort of thing. And they have to be able to last more than one season. So all of the shorts that make this list and lists in the past sort of have to meet those criteria. And I am fully aware that this is by no means a comprehensive list of all shorts that are available. That is also what the comments are for. If there's a pair of shorts that don't don't talk about today that you're like hey man I rock these all summer they're amazing drop that in the comments of this video because I know people who watch these videos want to know more than just what's on my list I do have to preface this by saying that all of the shorts in today's reviews were either provided by running warehouse by the brand themselves or I purchased them myself I'm under no obligation to say anything positive or negative about any of the shorts that I'm reviewing today I am not financially compensated for saying anything in this review no one has to approve this review I do this video because I just enjoy it I really do like shorts they're almost as important to me as running shoes these days when it comes to gear because they just uh they're such an adaptive piece of clothing that can work or not work very clearly all that being said it's time to dive in we've got eight pairs of shorts to talk about today starting with number eight from nike it's the nike summer dry fit flex the summer dry fit trail flex stride five inch Shorts. Coming in at 59 bucks, this pair of shorts is a surprise for me this season. Uh, there's a lot of technical fabric used. Nike does a good job of providing ample storage. Not only do you have uh, this horizontal pocket here along the back, it also has a sleeve within that fabric to, you know, store a jacket or a t-shirt. You have little gel pockets, you have some elastic bands along the waist, two side zipper pockets, and an internal key pocket as well. The positives to me are clearly the amount of storage, the materials that they're using. They're holding up pretty well. Uh, the negatives really come in how they hang on your body. They are an odd fit. It's easy to look past when you realize just how much storage they have. I, I will say that this phone pocket on the back or this bigger horizontal pocket does flop around a little bit because there's a, a chamber behind it that you can you know pull a shirt or a jacket through. So if you put a phone back there, it doesn't sit solidly on your lower back. Otherwise, I'm, I'm really having a good time in these shorts. I think they look good. The design is solid and they are super fun. Moving on from Kraft, this is a brand that I haven't actually touched on much on this channel. Hopefully that will change. But these are the Advanced Essence uh, Stretch 5-inch shorts. They are super simple, very comfortable. Uh, they have a little folding pocket here on the back. Uh, enough for a phone. You can really, you know, try to squeeze one in there, but I think it's more for gels and, and just basic storage. The reason I like these shorts and wanted to include them on this list is just because they are so simple. The waistband and the drawstring work. The storage in the back is enough, but it's not too much. You're not really having to fiddle with zippers. They do a really good job of making a secure pocket just with fabric and sort of overlapping. I love how simple and comfortable they are. The liner itself is extremely light, very stretchy, uh, and it does feel like nothing is there. So technically it doesn't feel like anything. That's why I like them. Uh, yeah, great pair of shorts, 59 bucks. Coming in next, the Solomon Sense 5 inch shorts. So the Solomon Sense shorts have made my list in years previous. This is sort of the updated model. Um, I'm a big fan. Uh, I think it's a super comfortable short. The big likes here are the materials that they're using. Solomon always uses really wonderful materials. The liner specifically, it's a soft material, uh, very stretchy. It, it, it's almost reminiscent of something like a moleskin, but it's so lightweight and transparent just as far as how it feels. 
It is such a comfortable liner. My biggest dislike with this pair of shorts actually comes in the form of storage. So the previous version had the sort of like kangaroo pocket on the front of the back. We have that again here on the front. Uh, it is a stretchy pocket. It can accommodate a phone or lots of gels, but there's no real security in what you put up front. Uh, I do like the addition of the drawstring here on this pair of shorts. The previous version that I have did not have the drawstring. So it allows you to tighten them up, sort of, because the drawstring is extremely stretchy. So getting a good tight fit or secure fit is difficult, making anything you store in this little pouch difficult to secure. So that's the biggest downside. But when you're just looking to go out and, and keep a pair of shorts really light, really comfortable, this bar none is one of the most comfortable pairs I have on today's list. The Sense Shorts from Solomon, five inch, so fun, I like. Coming in at number five, from DinaFit, it is the Vert 2 pair of shorts. Um, these are hard to get right now. I'm gonna preface these being on this list just by saying they're gonna be difficult to get, uh, but they are so good. So first and foremost, the things that I like, it's a very light pair of shorts and there's tons of storage. Here along the back, you have a zipper pocket right there in the center, big enough to accommodate a phone or tons of gear. And then you have these two giant stretch pockets off to the side. The materials that they're using here are very reminiscent of the old Pearl Izumi Ultra Shorts, which you know I'm a fan of and miss terribly, and I wish Pearl Izumi would get back on track and make them again. But Dean, if it picks up where they left off and uh, provides you with plenty of side storage on the hips and that center storage, and again, the pair of shorts is very, very light. The biggest negative is just finding the right fit. So I had to size up uh, one size in the pair of shorts just to get them to fit even like remotely okay. I still think they fit a little bit small. You know, when they're already difficult to find and you have to make a choice on sizing, that can be difficult. Um, so I would say go up a uh, size, depending on if you like a pair of shorts to fit really, really slim and narrow, or have a little bit more room to work with. Otherwise, I really like these, Vert 2. In at number four, this is a pair of shorts that's made my list in the past, and this is a new pair I bought for myself uh, at the beginning of the summer from Lululemon. It's the Surge six inch lined shorts. Um, I have now two, three pairs of these shorts over the last four years that I continue to use. They are very long lasting, very durable, high quality shorts. Uh, so a lot of the things I like, there's really great storage. Not only do you have a little foldable pocket along the lower back, but you also have a phone pocket along the leg sleeve. Two elastic bands along the waistband that I have been told is actually to take a shirt and loop through. Not that I would ever do that, don't need to be blinding people. I just really like the quality of the materials used, the quality of craftsmanship, and uh, overall storage. The real negative comes with cost. They are 68 bucks or an expensive pair of shorts and weight. They're, they're a heavier pair of shorts. The materials they're using, they're good. They've been pretty much the same materials for the last few years that I've been buying them. Uh, they're still pretty heavy. Seeing as this is the summer short showdown, these feel more like a late spring fall type of shorts. They're not gonna be that super hyper lightweight material. These pairs last me for years. I still really like them. They come in a bunch of different color combos. I like them, Lululemon Surge, six inch lined. In at number three, and I'm so glad that these shorts are back on the list, from Brooks, it is the Fall Sherpa two-in-one shorts. Since these were on my list formerly, they've changed the design a little bit. So these are the two-in-one shorts. Uh, they have a boxer liner inside, which sometimes I'm, I'm not a fan of, but here I do like. One thing that's major difference is that they have this little zipper pocket on the side of your right leg. It's sewn into the boxer liner, so if you put a phone in there, it stays tight against the leg, which is wonderful. And then all along the waistband are these wide, stretchy pockets that can accommodate gels, phones, gear, anything that you really need for an adventure or a trail run. These are super reminiscent of the Patagonia Strider Pro Shorts. They're so similar, many of you would be hard pressed to sort of tell the difference in storage capacity here on the side of the hips of these. The waistband is super wide, very comfortable. The materials are, are really, really nice. My biggest dislike with the Fall Sherpa 2-in-1 is with the internal liner. Uh, the materials they're using are comfortable, but they're not super durable. The seams themselves are sewn in a way that while it looks reinforced and looks really strong, hasn't been holding up quite as well as I would have hoped. Regardless, I'm approaching a year of wear on these shorts and they are still holding up well enough for me to put them so high on this list. I think it's a big improvement over the previous version of the Sherpas. Tons of storage, very comfortable pair of shorts. They look good, the colors are fun. Brooks, nice job. I'm happy to see these fall at number three on my list. They are super comfortable and I know you'll like them. 
In at number two from a brand that's no stranger to the Summer Shirt Showdown list from Rabbit, it is their brand new Shredder shorts. So uh, the FKT shorts, still one of my favorites. Those have made the list in years previous. Uh, I would have put them on the list this year just because I still have pairs and they still work quite well. But this is their new pair that uh, has really surprised me. Uh, it comes in two different variations. You have the boxer liner or the brief liner. These are the brief liner and these are the ones I prefer. So along the waistband, you have a lot of pockets, stretchable pockets you can stash tons of gear into. They have the horizontal zip pocket on the back. I think this works better than the FKT shorts. They've got these two elastic straps, which actually work with holding poles onto the waistline. Uh, I've tested them multiple times with different sets of poles, whether it's Lecky or Black Diamond. They work great. Just want to make sure that they're super secure in there. I've also used it to stash a jacket recently on a rainy run. Just, you know, push it through those loopholes and you're good to go. Really, my only gripe with these shorts is just as you begin to stuff that waistline with more and more gear, there's uh, just... It's hard to kind of tie it all down, but honestly, it's negligible. It's a super fun, very comfortable pair of shorts. They are the most expensive pair of shorts that I have on this list at $75. That is a steep price to pay. But again, these are shorts that are meant to be adventure shorts with all that storage, the soft materials, everything like that. They're, they're, they're meant to go far, last you a long time, and they are very comfortable. I do really enjoy them. So these are the new shredders from Rabbit, and uh, they're super fun. Come in different colors and stuff like that too. Bringing us to number one, uh, pretty much one of my favorite pairs of shorts, not just from the summer, but from the spring as well. And this comes from a brand, again, no stranger to this list. They've made this list in the past. It is from Janji, the AFO Vent shorts in the six inch inseam. So the Janji AFO shorts have made my list in the past. These are the AFO Vent shorts. They're a bit different, specifically around the waistline. So these have Another waistband just full of pockets. I like this trend. I think it's smart. Uh, there are tons of stretchable pockets. Some of them are connected together, so you have longer horizontal pockets. Perfect for gels, uh, for the phone. So while there are no zipper pockets, these horizontal pockets do keep things very secure. The materials and craftsmanship that they're using in the AFO Vent shorts is uh, it's top notch. So again, that's sort of why these made my list. They're very comfortable. Uh, I like the look of them. I think the colors are really cool. Janji's just been knocking it out of the park the last few years with all of their trail running gear and running gear in general. You know, I really only have two gripes. One is just the availability of these. So they're on sale right now. You can go to their website, you can check them out. Uh, they're not available in a lot of different places. I don't know if they discontinued the AFO vent, but if you can find a pair in your size, get them. Uh, they might be redesigning them a little bit, maybe releasing a new model, in which case, sweet, can't wait. And the other tiny little gripe is just the, the waistband here. Some waistbands on shorts now, it's not just specific to this model, uh, but they either come in two ends and you tie them together like a bow tie or whatever, or they come as just one loop. I, I have the hardest time figuring out how to tie waistbands that are just the loop, doing it around your finger or whatever. So this has that system to tie uh, the waist and that's not the best when you're in a trail race and you need to readjust or you have more gear in there that's weighing the shorts down and you need to quickly retie. All that being said, these made the top of my list because they are so adaptable, they're so comfortable and I think they look good. Uh, it's a super fun pair of shorts. Thank you Janji. This is the AFO Vent at $52 if you can find them on sale. That is it for this year's Summer Short Showdown. So uh, just a quick recap. I know that this list is not an entire list of every pair of shorts that's available this year. Uh, there might be shorts that I missed. There might be shorts that you are rocking right now that you just got. That you're like, these are amazing. Ethan, you need to check these out. In the comments of this video, that's where I would love to hear what brand, what model, how much, where'd you get them? Uh, let me know the pairs of shorts that I missed that didn't make this list. It's a great opportunity to uh, allow people to come back to this video and check out that list as it grows in the coming weeks and months. And right now, as we are towards the tail end of 2021 summer, some of these shorts might be going on sale. We might be preparing for uh, the spring season. So keep your eyes peeled on new deals that are happening all the time. If you would like to find out more information about any of the shorts I talked about in today's review or get a pair for yourself, uh, check them out. I have links in the description. Some of them are affiliate links, some of them are not. They do help the channel out. They cost you nothing, uh, but consider using those links if you have not already. Uh, but yeah, you can check out all the pairs of shorts that I talked about in today's review. That's pretty much it for the Summer Show Showdown for 2021. Uh, social media links and everything like that, if you wanna keep up to date with everything that's happening here, the best place to do it is by joining the GR crew, patreon.com slash 
The Ginger Runner will allow you to get access to all of our back-end perks, our daily live streams, our weekly uh, archive shows, everything like that. Just consider joining the GR crew. It's an amazing community of global runners. Uh, a lot of really amazing people. We're really, really happy with this community. It just keeps growing and we would love to have you join us. That is it. We hope you're getting out there training hard, racing harder, and partying the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week for more fun. Bye. -bye.